Well, you know, packing for the move may seem uh, kind of easy. Mm. Well, mm. sometimes things break because we don't pack them properly ourselves, okay? So uh, thankfully, the folks at Swamp Rabbit Moving are here to give us some good advice. Chris Sweet is with us. Chris, good, good morning, sir. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Good. So you're, you're telling us we actually need to take a second and pack it correctly instead of me. Absolutely. I'm just like, let me just throw these in yeah. and hope for the best. That ain't going to work. <laughs> Sometimes it works, but not all the time. Not all the time. Yeah. Keep, yeah. Me gear, keep me guaranteed. For sure. Well, can't you buy insurance, though? You can. Can yeah. can't we pay you to pay? You can. But oh, there again, the you're here spent. to give us some advice on saving money. Absolutely. And helping to prepare for the move. For sure. Yes. All right. All right. This is smart because we're starting with plates because yes. we all have <laughs> we all have them yep. and we want them to get there safely. Absolutely. And a lot of people pack plates uh, the wrong way, actually. And oh. that's why we kind of brought plates to demonstrate. So right. um, y'all ready for the demonstration? Yeah. Yeah. Show, show me the cool. right way to awesome. do it. <laughs> so anytime you're packing anything, fragile plates, bowls, cups, you want to start with a dish pack. So a dish pack is a little bit different than normal boxes. It looks thicker already. They're thicker, yeah. yep, so it can absorb the shock in the back of the truck a little mm. bit better. And you want to take your paper and you want to crumple it loosely like this. This will also help it shock, take some of the okay. shock away from it. And you oh, want to and put shove it in them in there. See, I didn't like even that. think to do that. So you, want to, okay. so you want to start your box like that. And okay. then you take your plates and you can go five at a time. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, see, I'm not terrible, Chris. This is the way I was doing it, so this is good. Well, I see, I'm you learning. might look good in till too, Megan. I know, right? I like that till. I, you know. There we go. And then you want to wrap it up like that. Yep. And you want to take a couple extra. Okay. Make sure it's nice and safe for the rod. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. Okay, this is probably the next step that so I. So you don't through. just set them in there like that. Oh. They go vertical. <gasps> What? Uh, Mind blown, Chris. Oh, so you put them in the box vertical. They don't like crack that. as fast if you. Oh my gosh, that you, is so smart. When you're packing fragile items, you actually want the least amount of surface area of the object touching the box. It makes perfect sense. It makes so much sense. So How? that's where a lot of people go wrong. Don't put your plates horizontal. Okay. Stack them vertical. Stack them nice and tight. And then this paper is not only to put on the objects, but it's also to make the box nice and tight. So that nothing has yeah. the ability to shift around in the box while it's moving. Yeah. Now, Chris, uh, where do we get the boxes and the paper from? You? Yes, you can call Swamp Rabbit Moving and we can we can deliver those boxes to you. Okay. I was going to say, how many pieces of paper do you think you go through? A lot. <laughs> and if you decide that you're just too overwhelmed and you don't want to do any packing at all, we can also help out there as Okay, well. let's talk about that process because in my head, I'm going to say, all right, Chris, you just do everything. I'm going to show yep. up and then I'm going to go and I'll come back eight hours later and it'll be all packed up. Is it? Is it that easy? It is that easy. Oh my so gosh. So you, yeah. it's as easy as you letting us in the door, yeah. giving us the scope yeah. of work that needs to be done, and then you can go grab a latte or whatever you need to do, handle yes. business during the day, and let us handle all the hard Even work. like the junk drawers you do? Even the junk drawers. <laughs> do you, we do I it all. A, I moved a car one time. Yep. You drive that car up in that truck. We, we can't drive it in the truck, but we can transport it for you. Well, uh, I, I think I'm repeating repeating myself, but I'll never forget we hired people to move me here 39 years uh -huh. ago. Yep. And <laughs> they packed the trash cans with trash in the trash cans. <laughs> well, I'll never forget that one. They just wanted to make sure you really, you know, in case there's some bills in there. So how did it smell hard. when you opened up the box? Yeah. What's that? How did it smell when you opened up the I box? I recall this was not major <laughs> garbage. This was a living room trash can. Yes, yeah, so probably not great. Now, you know, I, I see you all over our neighborhood. You all are moving and grooving. You're doing so much. If people, and spring's a big time, that's kind of when people are starting to. Spring is where it gets crazy. Yeah, yeah. so how yeah. much notice do we need to give? What's the process? Typically we, we to like do? to say four to six weeks, depending on the, depending on your flexibility of day. Yeah. If you have like a dead set day you need to move on, mm -hmm. four to six weeks is a great time frame to ensure that you get that, that day that you're looking for. Now what if we gotta be out of some place, but we can't be in another place for like two months? Do you store furniture and Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely, oh, so we have an okay. on-site on storage facility. It's uh -huh. 40,000 square feet where your stuff stays blanketed the whole time in a storage pod, in a climate control facility. Uh, and we only have access to it, so it limits some of the liability of yes. having open access to everybody. See, you really, moving is one of the most stressful things ever, oh. and you really take out every... <laughs> we try to, yeah. You really do, like that's going to help. Absolutely. Do you, are you limited to just the Greenville County? No, so we service all over 48 states, so we're, you know, we're okay. everywhere in the United States. Our 
we always like to refer to South Carolina has to be a focal point in the move. It has to either be going from or going to, to yeah, for sure. it to make sense financially. But we do long distance moves all the time, all right. whether it's north, west, south. Okay. Gosh, whatever you really the case do may make be. it so right. easy. Thank you so much. Look, all the information on the screen. If you're thinking about moving, maybe just give them a call now to start getting, you know, yeah. some, some some prices, start to figure out what's going to be best for you. But well, hey, maybe go ahead and ask the boss if he's going to fire you so you'll yeah. have some advice <laughs> on moving. Yeah, let's give us a heads up. Thanks, Chris. We appreciate <laughs> Absolutely. it. Swamp Thank Rabbit you. moving, doing all the